Hi, my name is Gala. I'm a Lucre Studio expert and the founder of Gailey Reports. I would like to talk about scorecard improvements that we have through May 2023. It's really nice. I already use it and I already have it in my templates. Let's add chart this. I don't care about data source, so I use uh, Google Analytics for demo account. Uh, new users, perfect. I'm fine to have new users as a metric. Um, let's update it and make it bigger. We need big scorecard to see. Nice. Now I like it. Uh, so, what do we have new here? We have Sparkline. Uh, this is nice because before I created two charts. I created scorecards and time series chart. Now we don't need to do it. We just have one scorecard chart. And Sparkline, as you see, could be day, day, month, week. Uh, I want to use date because uh, my default data range provisions. months. And we already have time series chart at the same score box chart. And I think this is really amazing and I really love to use it. And I already started to use it. But it is not all what we have new here. Other features is interesting as well. Uh, we have different other comparison options. I will not choose it right now uh, because there is some bug still. So let's use this. If you remember, we have comparison date range and like like we have regularly. And we can compare with the previous period, previous year, and so on. What you hear, uh, we can compare with other options. We can compare with value. Uh, and here we can say 60,000 or 50,000. And we can compare with some fixed value. It's good, for example, if you have KPIs to bring, I don't know, 100 leads and you show leads here. So it's nice to. Uh, and we have checkbox shows progress. And here we can see bar with progress. Uh, like we need to achieve 7,000 users. Uh, 70,000 users and still we have 83% and this is our bar. I think for KPIs this this is a really amazing feature. Uh, other options that we have here, mm, we have metric. Uh, metric for example, uh, here is new users and we can compare with the total users. Uh, not with progress, line but if we show the progress we can see that new users um, they are 80 percent of total users in last month so here is depend how do you what is your goal here uh, if you want to bring new customers new users to your website it will be nice if, if this percentage will grow if you want to work with your current customers, it maybe will be nice if this percentage will go back or will go down. But I think it's really nice if you have two parameters, two metrics, and you can compare them. And I really love it. What I didn't find when I prepared to this video, I, you see when we select other comparison option, we don't have here comparison date range. But we can come back here with we have period and if we click period we can compare with the previous period again. I think it's super nice. I already started to use it. I think I started to use it since the switches appears. <laughs> so I recommend you to use it as well. It's not complicated and it's super powerful.